Well, good evening all. It's still redneck again. I think we're on day five uh, of this supposed lockdown, shelter in place, virus isolation, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> I don't know. It still seems silly to me, but you got everybody's supposed to be trying to keep this thing down and all that. You still got people driving all over the place. Stores are still open. Still doing business as usual. People crowding in everywhere. Hell, I was watching people when I went to the Walgreens to get some essentials, you know, beer and my wife's ice cream. Uh, you know, people are out driving quads out in the fields and on the shoreline and down the trails and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's good isolation shelter in place. There's people out taking their boats out and all this stuff. And I'm thinking, okay, that's really good. Now, I don't know people's opinion of this. I'm trying to deal with it. I don't uh, particularly care for the government telling me I can't go anywhere, do anything. Oh, wait a minute. It doesn't affect me. I'm essential. I can travel all the way around I want to. I will say this much. We have a app out here we'll call the Next Door app. And I notice a lot of people are offering to help their neighbors, elderly, get their groceries, whatever. But I'm also seeing reports that there are people taking advantage of this this bullshit. There's a case uh, going around of poor guys walking around in Tyvek suits. respirators hanging off their neck you know saying oh we need to check the inside of your house for the virus we are from the government and frankly I'm going to let everybody know one if the government's showing up to check your house for the uh, traces of the virus they're not going to be walking up your sidewalk without a car or a bunch of cars, official cars with emblems and everything else and IDs. Do not allow people that approach you like that into your house. Don't let the fear and panic lose you of your best judgments. In one sense, I kind of wish those clouds would come around to my house. But, then how do you dispose of the bodies? Hmm. Sulfuric acid does a good job. That was a joke, by the way. Being a law-standing citizen, I would call the police and say, Okay, I have some people here with zip ties all set for you. But... In all seriousness, people, before you open your door to people, use your brain. There have been people saying, oh, they're here from this relief organization to help you out with your rent or something like that. We need to talk. These the scumbags are using every angle they can to get to you. You know, I've seen, I've, I've seen reports that people are getting beat up in the shopping, uh, parking lots to because they're coming out of the store elderly with food and things like that so they get beat up to lose their cell phones or wallets secure car keys the whole nine yards to a lot of the low lives they think this is party time you know and the low lives always prey on the weak I don't 
agree with that. I think we all need to just get together. Let's whip this damn virus's ass if there is one. I don't know. I don't know anybody that's got it. I'm reading reports from hospital people that they've had people come in and get checked out. Uh, let's see, one, one report I read, the nurse said we've checked out 100 people that came in with the symptoms and only one tested positive. They've let the others go. Uh, who knows what's the who knows what the truth is and what isn't. I don't. Myself, due to the fact that I smoke, I've abused my body for sixty three years, and all that. I have coughing fits. I have runny nose. I have all the, and the achy bones. All the cases, you know, symptoms of the flu. And, of course, I have it all year long. Plus the fact I work outside and get wet every day. So, who's to tell if you got it, you don't. When I understand they don't have enough test kits, they don't have enough of this, they don't have enough of that. That makes you wonder what game's being played. You know, well, we got supposedly some of the best health care hospitals, supply chains and all that. This virus has been hitting the United States now, according to the government, since about the 1st of March. And you're going to tell me hospitals are running out of supplies already? Makes you kind of wonder, don't it? If you watch the previous video, you see... The list of people that are essential, that are allowed to travel, and all that. I will reiterate what I said yesterday. You want to whip this virus, and you want to get it under control, you need to limit the travel of people. Okay. Looking at that list, and I will remind everybody this every day if I have to, Basically, everybody that works for a living, doing everyday things except for restaurant workers, waiters, bartenders, hairdressers, barbers, things like that, people in high-rises, you know, the secretaries, the mailroom clerks, they don't get to, they, they don't get to go to work. You know, which may be a good thing. You know, you're working in a high-rise, you're breathing nothing but recirculated air all day long. Anybody that's been in one of those buildings, same as in a hospital, you know, somebody gets a cold in that building, pretty soon everybody's got it. That's why I don't believe in air conditioning, but that's me. But just want people to understand that there's a lot of people that are taking advantage of this crisis. Uh, and not just the politicians. Get a lot of low lives that are thinking it's a way to make a quick buck. As for our politicians, well, let's talk about the ones that decide right before the stock market crash to sell all their stocks. Can you say insider trading? I can, you know, naturally you got people trying to blame everybody and their brother because they don't want to offend China. Well, I don't really give a rat's ass. This thing originated in China. If I want to call it the Wahoo virus or the China virus or whatever, I'm going to because that's where it came from. If they had been straightforward and honest with the world long before they let us know about it, we'd all have a handle on it. Do not forget that, people. This thing started in China in September 
according to that doctor that released the information, who is now dead. They didn't let anybody know about it till December. The city it got released in is a major hub for business people. Where manufacturing, a lot of manufacturing is. Their corporate headquarters. You know, you got people flying in and out and going from China to everywhere around the world, all the points. You got a 14 day incubation period on this crap. You don't even feel like you're sick. But you're spreading it all the way around the world. And China's now sitting there going, well, you know, we didn't do this. You can't call it that. You're offending us. Well, stick it up your Chinese ass. But that's my opinion. If it offends you, I'm sorry. Uh, take your snowflake butt and don't watch my videos. But other than that, this is day five. We're still alive. People are still going around, riding their bikes. They're walking their dogs. They're shopping. They're riding their quads. They're having their family get-togethers, having their parties, like another day in the park out here in California, at least the section I live in. Now, this is the old redneck. I'm going to remind everybody, remember our, our servicemen overseas, remember our vets that have come home. Get a chance, give them a hand, help them up. Now, they don't want a hand out, they want a hand up. If you're an employer, hire one. Probably be the best hire you ever had. But from this old vet, I'd like to wish everybody good night. Stay healthy.